NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Now, this game is all about variables, right? Rich, if you head into a bad light, it completely changes the nature of the next shot. When the ball sits up like that, it is just liberty of choice now. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Frank, you've navigated so many leaderboards in your career. This is the way to do it, isn't it? Oh, well, there's plenty of holes ahead too, Rich. Third place, a really good position to be playing from here on in. Oh, that's fine. Back in 1971, Frank, Arnold Palmer won the event. That was eight years before he actually became the host beat one of the sweet swingers in the game, Julius Boros, by a shot. Yeah, Julius Boros is certainly a name to remember and a rhythm that everybody would like to copy. But, uh, you know, in the mid-'70s, Arnold was just prolific. And uh, he, uh, he grew to really love and savor his own event. Once he put his name on it, the event just simply grew in stature. Putting up some impressive numbers out here now, nine under for the tournament. Frank, back in 1998, by any chance, do you remember exactly how many golf balls John Daly hit into the water at the sixth? It was half a dozen, uh, half a box of golf balls. <laughs> Second shot. All right, Frank, you've played it safe. Now you have that third shot. What's the best way to get to that whole location and make the birdie? The angle of the green really does favor the layup shot because at least you're hitting across the length of the green. But uh, it's a little bit like that third hole, a very narrow green. So once again, that wedge shot has to be very precise. Oh, yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Well, after that beast of a par five with all the water, take a sigh of relief and you come to the par three seventh. It still takes a good tee shot here though, Rich. Narrow entry, you know, green's 30 yards deep. You still really got to focus on hitting a good shot here. In the direction of the sand. It looks like it. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. And getting ready for the putt. Frank, a solid par right there, maintains his position. Frank, as you step to the tee here at the eighth, what are you seeing? Another hole that suits the long hitter, Rich. That bunker, just over 300 yards. The further you get down there, the shorter club you have in over the water. And safely on the fairway. 
Once again, a good lie. That makes such a difference. Takes so many variables out of play. Surely not. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for Birdie coming up. They par yesterday. This one for Birdie. And with that, Birdie moves into second place. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly have looked the best players this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real thriller.